Welcome guys to another video here on the Man United Daily YouTube channel and it, this is a, a follow up video as sort of to yesterday's video where I talked about David Moyes departure from the club and in this one I just want to talk about over a few candidates that um, you know are touted within the media and uh, what I, I just want to give you my opinion on them and how much or how possible it is that they will be likely to succeed David Moyes at United so obviously the main candidate that a lot of people talked about is Lou Van Howe. Obviously, um, he probably was wouldn't be a lot of people's first choice, but due to circumstances, which I'll talk about later with other candidates, he is now the bookie's favourite to take over. Um, he's 62 years old, so he's obviously a very experienced manager, has a proven track record at the biggest clubs in Europe, from Barcelona to Bayern Munich. You know, seven domestic trophies, Champions League winner. So he has a, a very, very good track record. And, you know, he's uh, kind of like uh, uh, credited with the fact that he's built and fulfilled Johan Cruyff's dream at Barcelona to have, you know, a lot of the academy players going to the first team and leading them to win uh, domestic leagues and also Champions League. So he has a, you know, credited with that. And also the current Bayern Munich team where he has laid the foundations for, you know, Jupp Heynckes to take over and then consequently Guardiola right now. So Van Hal, very experienced. He has a, a very good record, like I said, and he has a big, big personality. And uh, But again, that personality has a, a two-club edge to it because on one hand, he has the, you know, personality to, uh, you know, convince a lot of players that he is. Uh, tactically good and he is uh, you know have the uh, fight and a gut to fight at a very highest level but again that uh, kind of personality can count against him when it's uh, it can be taken as abrasive and also kind of like uh, kind of like polarizing character where you either are for him or against him so there are no middle ground he's a bit like Marmite where you either hate it or love it so that could be a potential concern for the board in the side of the ma manager because you know they want a manager who will respect the tradition of the club without you know with being successful in one regard but with not you know uh, relaying the whole foundation and structure of the club at the same time in achieving that uh, objective so Lou Van Hal I think could be a good short-term replacement until someone else become available like a Jurgen Klopp or Pep Guardiola. Uh, Jürgen, uh, you know, Lou Van Hal, 62 going to 63 this year, is it's not a young manager, less, you know, point the obvious, but like again, I think with the experience and the track record and with the unavailability of the other top class managers, I do think he does make a lot of sense, but like again, uh, my main reservation is his abrasive character where uh, he is kind of like Mourinho where he does uh, bring contro controversy to the club and I think that could be an unsettling kind of like aspect to his manager which the club and the Glazer family and you know Ed Woodward might be opposed to but again he is most likely because of the contractual situation with the Dutch FA and the Dutch national team at this moment in time so Louis Van Howe looks to be the favourite but again it's up to the discussion what do you guys think of Louis Van Howe and let's now go on to uh, the next candidate the next um, candidate I want to talk about is Jurgen Klopp a lot of people have touted the name even though I said it last summer when I thought uh, you know, with the big announcement that Alex was retiring, I thought Jurgen Klopp, with his proven track record again, um, and the outstanding football uh, that he had achieved at Dortmund would be the outstanding candidate. But Alex, you know, had his input, wanted it to have the kind of like story tale with the Scottish and British manager at United, uh, kind of like tradition, keep on going. I thought Jurgen Klopp last season, you know, after the defeat by, by, by Munich, uh, the Goethe transfer, I thought, you know, this could be a great time to kind of like touch a lure from Dortmund because, uh, you know, Bayern Munich again has proven this season they are way, way superior with the amount of money and the uh, quality and the a depth in their uh, squad, you know, to overbear any sort of challenge for Dortmund domestically. Uh, and, you know, it's, take, it's taken its toll in the Champions League as well, where Dortmund, you know, came very close to the semi finals, but again, not close enough. But. Jürgen Klopp has committed his uh, future to Dortmund, you know, this week saying that he, 
while he is uh, an admirer of United, he uh, wants to um, fulfil his contract obligation with uh, Dortmund until 2018. So it's a long, long contract to you know lure him out. Obviously, if we all had our wishes, we would throw everything at Dortmund to see if he would come for any sort of price at all or any of really ambitious project that we are planning to do. But uh, Jurgen Klopp seems to be a man of his word and it doesn't seem to be any possibility but like I said in uh, you know in connection with Louis Van Howe in the last segment uh, if Van Howe was to get the job you know for a short term basis two or three years just to lay the down foundation once again to get a club back on his feet uh, you know to start this winning mentality you know buying a couple of good uh, players, world-class players within the squad, rejuvenate it, then I think it will be a really good platform for someone else to go in there after you know Van Hal, if he is appointed at all, uh, to you know, build on that foundation that has been reset. Uh, and Klopp would be my outstanding candidate. He brings you know pace, passion, uh, everything to do with United back into the club. And he just seems, you know, 46 years of age, has a long, long future ahead of him in management. So I think Klopp, again, outstanding track record at Dortmund at what he's done, overturning Bayern Munich for a couple of years, you know, last year, Champions League finalists. So Jürgen Klopp would tick basically every single box. And so he would bring, I think the passion and the personality, I think, would be my biggest draws to him. But again, uh, he, he it looks like it's going to be impossible to draw away this summer. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, if the club even approaches him or will they try, try to you know get a temporary manager in air quotes as in two or three years replacement and then looking to uh, get someone else in in the next uh, you know next segment of the of the club's history so Klopp will be an interesting uh, appointment in the near future but uh, you know for this summer coming he just said he's not coming so uh, yeah it's a great disappointment but you have to respect his decision for that uh, commitment to Dortmund and the next uh, candidate I want to talk about is Carlo Ancelotti. Again, similar to Klopp, he has a quite a uh, you know new contract with Madrid. Started last summer, so he's unlikely to come. But uh, you could see why he would be uh, another great candidate for the job at United. He has experience in England, success in England, and he has a successful track record at a lot of the major clubs that he's been in charge of. You know, he's been in charge of Juventus, AC Milan, Chelsea, Paris Saint Germain, now Real Madrid. So. It, uh, the top, the manager job wouldn't be uh, kind of like daunted for him as such because he has experienced that sort of pressure and sort of limelight on him himself before. So Ancelotti would be uh, a, a great candidate. He has proven himself as both a player and a manager to be a good, really good manager. Uh, I think if he was to have any possibility of coming this summer, it would be dependent on the uh, outcome of Real Madrid season. You know, they already won a couple of Del Rey, yes, but that would be a consolation prize in their budget and also their club's history, really, because they would want to, you know, hopefully get the uh, La Liga. Obviously, it's out of their hands now in that regard to uh, to Atletico Madrid. But uh, if he was gonna win the European Champions, uh, you know, Champions League, is obviously there's no way he'll be going because he'll make it a record tenth trophy for Madrid. But uh, if he Managed to lose both of the competition, which is likely. I mean, he's coming up against Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich tonight. So, um, scenarios are likely to happen. But again, I don't think he'll be let go because he has a fantastic track record. Real Madrid would be really, really, uh, you know, kind of stupid, really, to let him go with this uh, squad at the present. So, Ancelotti unlikely to come, but uh, depending on how the season goes, apparently he's the top of the wish list for United. So, uh, with a bit of help from Fergie, maybe he could be persuaded if the results doesn't go his way in in the next few weeks. So it'll be interesting to see how it uh, pans out. But again, similar to Klopp, is this one's unlikely to happen. And in the last few candidates I was to rack through, really, you know, the first one's Guardiola, similar to Klopp. He has stated his commitment to Bayern Munich, uh, you know, yesterday where, you know, he's, he said he has a, a building project to do. He wants to at least stay for another two years, like I said. Similar to Klopp where if Van Hal takes over for the next couple of seasons, then that 
at the end of that tenure, it will be free up to Guardiola. And, you know, there's always going to be romantic gestures and all that from United fans uh, like myself, you know, where we want the best managers for the club. And Guardiola would represent a new direction in the club if he was to come in a couple of years. But again, like Jurgen Klopp, not going to come this summer at all. But in a couple of years, you never know. Guardiola, obviously, pre track record, his style is really nice. Uh, so it will be a fantastic addition, but in a couple of years, everything is up to grabs. But Guardiola would be a fantastic addition, in my opinion. And the last candidate, really, uh, Ryan Giggs, obviously the interim manager for the last four games of the season. Obviously, it would be a big, big risk if he was going to be given a, a kind of like permanent job on a you know on a regular basis. But uh, Guardiola did it with a, you know little experience before, but. Giggs would be our version of Guardiola. He might have a you know big chance in his say if he does well in the next four games. It would be a risk, but again, I thought uh, if he was gonna you know employ an experienced manager like Van Hal, then Giggs could potentially be his part of his backroom staff once again and learn and get his trade together, get his coaching badges, and then you know after the that tenure, he could become uh, you know a potential United manager and. From what I've read, uh, Giggs has all the attributes to be a top-class manager, So, and he bleeds United through and through. So, uh, yeah, he'll be a fantastic uh, kind of like future and kind of like vision for the club ahead, I think. But again, it'll be a f- hard, hard job to place that responsibility on him, like, you know, to become... Uh, to expect a seamless transition from a coach player to a full-time permanent manager of one of the biggest clubs in the world. So Giggs will be a fantastic and romantic choice, but I think it will be too soon for him uh, in the next few years anyway. So yeah, uh, interesting interesting time ahead for the club, but I think the most likely outcome will be Louis Van Gaal's kind of like... Um, uh, recruitment after the World Cup because he's the most likely candidate. There's other ch- outside chances with Ancelotti, etc. But again, I fully expect uh, Louis Van Gaal to be the new United manager if we were you know, to ke- take that route with the uh, recruitment of other younger elite managers to come in the next few years. So um, what do you guys think of that statement? Do you agree? Who do you want to be your next manager, etc.? Give me a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as much as I can. You can follow me on Twitter at Man United Daily or check out the website manunitedaily.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.